Hey guys, Carla here to talk to you about our Yifu Commerce product add-ons and extra options plugin. You know that with this plugin, you can insert options in the form of labels, images, icons, photos, and more. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you different ways of using our label or image add-on. This is one of the most interesting and versatile options in this plugin. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay guys, so for this video, I'm going to be adding a block of three sets of options to this engagement ring. I'm going to be using the label or image add-on, which is one of the most versatile options we have in this plugin. With this one, you could add only text inside a rectangular shape. You could add just text and an image or an icon. You could even add an image without any kind of text. So let's go to the dashboard. Yid product add-ons. I'm going to add a block and the block name is going to be engagement ring. Add options. So as I said before, we're going to use the label or image add-on. The first option I'm going to add is the metal type. So the first label is going to be 14 karat yellow gold. For tooltip, let's use 14 karat yellow gold. I'm going to add an image. I uploaded the icons before, but if you wanted to add new ones, you can just go to upload files, select files. So I'm going to use this one, choose option. This one is going to be selected by default. I'm going to add a new option. This is going to be 18 karat yellow gold. image the price here is going to be different I'm going to increase the main product price to a fixed amount of 50 euros if this one this option is selected a new option this one is going to be platinum And I'm going to increase the price by 100 euros. Save. Let's go to rules. I have to assign this set of rules to the engagement ring. So specific products and categories. Products to include. Engagement ring. There you go. Save. So now if I go to my side and refresh there you have the new options that I created using these icons now this does look nice but I want to improve these options the way they look you might have noticed that each options label and tooltip are the same so in this case I could maybe hide the label I could also change the alignment of the label so that it's centered and put it outside the borders. So let's go back to the dashboard. Metal type. Display settings. I'm going to hide option labels. And then I'm going to select the style tab. And for label position, outside borders, and the content alignment is going to be centered. Refresh. Okay, so now it does look better. 
So now if I hover over the option, I'm going to get the tooltip and of course the icons are centered. Now let's go add the second set of options. This one is going to be the diamond shape. First one is going to be round. Add image. This one. I am not changing the price of these options. I am going to select this one as default. Add a new option. Let me also add a style to this, style tab. Let's select a center alignment for this one too. Save. Back to the side, refresh. And there we have the new options, the diamond shape options. They are all centered. In this case, I didn't change the position of the label, nor did I hide it as I did with the previous options. I just modify the alignment to be centered. Let's go back to the dashboard for the third set of options. This one is going to be diamond size. For these options, I'm not going to be adding an image. I'm just going to be adding a label. So first option, 0 0.5 carats. And this one is going to be the default selection. A new option, then the next one is going to be one carat. And for this one, I'm going to change the price. I'm going to increase the main product price by a fixed amount of 19 euros a new option let me add the style again once again center alignment now we can save save now if i go back to my site refresh there you have the labels that only contain text they don't have any images and there we have the label 0 0.5 carats for instance and then the other options contain the label and the price now I told you that I was choosing one option out of each set of options to be the default selection. But what happens if I deselect, for instance, the diamond shape? And then maybe the metal type. Add to cart. View cart. Nothing happened. I was able to select and not to card the engagement ring with only one option out of the three options that were necessary for us to process the order. This is obviously something that we have to change because the customer needs to choose at least one option out of each set of options for us to process it. So we have to set this up inside each set of options. So let's edit metal type first. Advanced settings. And if you enable this option, the minimum maximum selection rules, you're going to be forcing your customer to select at least one of the options. Yes, a minimum of one option, save. And I'm going to do this for every single set of options. Save. So if I go back to the site 
and I deselect for instance the 0.5 carat option and I try to add to card I'm going to get this error so I need to select one of the options to add this engagement ring to the card now the last thing I want to change this box this box has the product price the total options and the order total you know that if I select for instance one carat instead of 0.5 I would have the options price right here the same for the 18 karat yellow gold metal type now I have 140 but I want this to be simpler I don't want that much detail in it we can hide it or we can choose what to show there so let's go back to the dashboard general settings general options total price box now I have this which is the default selection show product price and total options you have the option for instance to show the final total and hide the options only if the value is zero you have the option to show only the final total or to hide the price box altogether so I'm only going to show the final total save options refresh and if I choose this one for instance I am changing the price of the product of course because I have 497 euros for the engagement ring and this is the only option that I have selected that adds to that price so this is my order total I don't have the other rows that were just annoying to me and I wanted to have this shown in a simpler way so if I add it to cart I would have all of the options that I selected for this engagement ring. So there you go guys, those are three different ways you can use the label or image add-on. Make sure that your customers choose the amount of options you need them to choose and hide the price box or choose what to show in it. Okay, so that was it for our video today, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.